Hello everyone and welcome back. So now we're getting into the long-awaited video for some folks, which is dealing with audio and allowing ourselves to create sound effects and music inside of our visual novel, even ambience, any kind of audio that you might think of that would belong in your visual novel. Right now, we've got our backgrounds, we've got our characters, and so many other things working, but our scene is silent, other than what we get from maybe some videos that we work with. So in this episode, we're going to focus on adding some sound effects. And we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make our characters say some stuff with some little voice locks. This is not going to be voices like if you're adding dubs for the text that's on screen. That'll be a completely separate video. But this will be for one-time sound effects that may play with events or as a character starts talking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into adding sound effects into our visual novel. So, to add sound effects, we're going to do this through the same system that will manage both sounds and music. And this that's simply going to be something with our, we'll call it our audio manager. So, inside of our core scripts, let's make a new folder, because there will eventually be several scripts for this as we get into music. But let's just call this folder audio. And inside of audio, all we need is one script for this video today. And that is going to be the core of the system, the audio manager. Now the audio manager for sound effects and music, we're going to use different mixers so that way we can output the different types of audio to the correct mixers. That way, once we get into a settings menu, we could say lower the audio for sound effects, raise the audio for music, raise it for voices, and we'll be able to control them independently. In order for us to use mixers though, we need to incorporate the audio namespace. So we'll simply say using audio or using uh, unity engine dot audio, and that gives us access to the audio classes inside of Unity. For us to access those mixers, we're just going to make them little publicly assignable values here that we can assign directly from within our scene. So these are going to be called audio mixer groups. And an audio mixer group, you can think of it like a a sub part of a main mixer. So we can have a master mixer, and that mixer can have three different groups for music, sound effects, and voice, and those are audio mixer groups. So for us to assign these, let's make a public variable for an audio mixer group. And we're going to have one for these different types of sounds. One will be for our music, so that will be our music mixer. And then we're also going to have one for our sound effects, so SFX mixer. And then we'll also have one for the voices. So voices, just in case we have voices for our characters. If you'd like, you could make one for ambience as well, but I'm going to include ambience in with the music mixer. So that will allow us to assign those. But we don't have them configured in our scene, so let's do that real quick. In order for us to create audio mixers, we need to go to the window panel and then open up under audio the audio mixer panel. And now we can see we have no mixers in our game. Everything is just playing through the default um, default sound source inside of Unity. But we can go ahead and create one, so that way we can apply our different mixers. So I'm going to call this one the master. And inside of master, we can create groups. So we also have a little master group inside of our master mixer, so maybe that might be a little confusing. Maybe I will instead rename that. Can I just rename it? I'm just going to rename this to main. So I'm going to have my main mixer, and then we have the master group inside of the main mixer. And from here, we can go ahead and add new groups. We'll add one for the music, and we'll add one for the sound effects, and we'll add one for the voices. And by default, if you have one selected and you decide to add a new channel, it's automatically going to add it as a child of the mixer that you had selected, which means voices will be affected by the sound effects. I don't want that. So instead, I'm going to drag it out and just make sure that they're all separate, but still a part of the maxer, master mixer. This means that I can play sounds on any of these other mixers, and they'll all be affected by the master, but they won't be affected by each other, and then we can control their volumes independently. That will come once we get into a settings menu. For now, all we need is these mixers established. So now let's create the instance in our scene where we can actually assign these. So in the VN controller under managers, let's make ourselves a new manager, and this will be the audio manager. The audio manager is going to have that audio manager script. And now we can assign the mixers. 
So I'll choose music for mix music mixer, sound effects for sound effect mixer, and voices for the voices mixer. Now we need a way to access this audio manager. For audio, we want to make sure that audio persists through scenes. So that way, if we go to change scenes inside of Unity, any music we have playing can carry over from one scene to the next. So there's not an abrupt stop. Instead, we can add transitions once we reach the appropriate scene. But this will just be very, very smooth and and easy on the ears. So we don't want our audio manager to get deleted once we load a new scene. For that, we just need to add it to do not destroy on load. And that's fairly easy to do. But first, let's make ourselves a way to keep track of it. We need an instance. So public static audio manager instance. And we'll make sure anything can get it, but it can only assign itself. And we'll remove start and update, but instead use awake. And inside of awake, we want to make sure that we get the instance if there's not already one in the scene. So we can just do a quick check and say if instance equals null, then we're going to do something. In order for us to add it to the do not destroy on load, which is just basically a new sub scene inside of Unity that won't get destroyed when you load a new scene, we just have to say don't destroy on load and pass in the game object that we want to persist. However, it must be noted that anything that is set to do not destroy on load must have no parent. And this audio manager is parented to our manager's object. So we first need to say that transform.setParent is null. We need to remove the parent, that way it can actually be added to the, to the safe list. And then we'll go ahead and assign instance to equal this. Otherwise, we know that we already have an instance and we don't need a duplicate audio manager. So we can say destroy immediate and we'll destroy the game object. And then we'll go ahead and return because we don't need to do anything else. Okay, there we are. So we've got our mixers and we've got this ready for us to move on to adding sound effects. So we'll do that in the next part.